All right, with today's video, we are going to be doing some freezer meals. I'm gonna pack up these bags and get these ready for some of these recipes that I am so excited to try out. And if you guys are new here, this is gonna be my first time doing some freezer meals. I have did some breakfast prep before and stored some stuff in our freezer for the kids to whip up quick for breakfast, but these are going to be crock pot meals. So I am so excited to share this with you guys today. A little bit of a different introduction because I forgot to record the beginning part of this video. So we're gonna start out with me just taping the front part of my bags with all of the names of the meals that we are going to be bagging up today. These recipes are from Crystal Lopez. If you guys wanna check out her channel, I will leave her link down below and then also all her crock pot meals and stuff that she shares on her website. Um, I got this for half off from her website. She had a special going on and I bought it up right away because I knew that I wanted to give this a try. I also will be coming out with more in the next couple months um, and I have some good recipes for you from her site and I will um, share this pack with you down in the description and in the comments. All right, so we're gonna start out with two crock pot pork chop meals. One of them is smothered pork chops and the other one is creamy ranch pork chop. So with these recipes, both of them are going to need about six to eight boneless pork chops. For our family, I added in a little bit extra just because we need more than what the recipe calls for. So I actually just divided up the whole package and added it to the bags and we're just going to probably use both of these. I was able to double, I think, this for this recipe. And then also for some of the other ones. Um, but for today's video, I'm just going to share what these recipes are. So for the smothered pork chop one, we are going to be adding some garlic, some garlic powder, some ranch seasoning, brown gravy, cream of chicken, beef broth, and pepper. For the beef broth though, I just put in beef paste and I have a note on my bag that I need to add some water when I add this to the crock pot. So that one is going to be a little bit different with how I'm going to bag it up. So usually you would just add all the beef broth right away into the bag and then freeze it, but I'm going to do it a little bit different for me for this recipe. All right, as for these little green things that are holding up my bag, which are the most fabulous things I have ever had to um, use, just to clarify that, um, I never used these before and they are wonderful. I just bought them on Amazon. I will leave a link down below if you guys are interested in getting any. And I think they worked pretty good for what I needed them to. So like I said, I will leave them down below. So we are going to move on to the next recipe. This one is going to be six medium boneless pork chops, garlic powder, minced garlic, ranch, brown gravy, chicken soup, beef broth, and salt and pepper. And add. I'm going to add the water later. So that is this recipe. Okay, so I'm going to finish this one and I will come back when we do the next one.
All right, so now we're going to move on to the recipes that have chicken breasts in them. So I have frozen chicken breasts, and I also have some chicken tenderloin that I'm just going to kind of mix together in both of these recipes. So we're going to start out with the chicken parmesan first. I'm just dividing up my chicken right now. So I'm going to add a can of crushed tomatoes, a can of tomato paste, and a can of tomato sauce, Italian season, seasoning, minced garlic, and we are going to add salt and pepper. And then when you serve the dish, you are going to add some Parmesan cheese and mozzarella on top. And that is it for this recipe. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next recipe, which is going to be the Asian chicken. We are going to be adding five large boneless, skinless chicken breasts, which I said that I added some chicken tenderloin to it. We're gonna add some honey, soy sauce, hojin sauce, minced garlic, fresh ginger or ginger paste, rice wine vinegar, onion powder, and some salt and pepper. And that is all you need to add for this recipe. For some of these recipes, you can even mix up the sauce and stuff in a bowl, mix it together, and then pour it over the chicken. I just ended up putting it in the bag and kind of moving the bag around and just coating it that way. All right, so we're going to move on to the next one, and this one is going to be chicken and gravy. So I'm going to cut up my onion. We need five large boneless skinless chicken breasts, but I did the same thing with this one and I just added chicken breasts and they actually were frozen chicken breasts and some chicken tenderloin, so that's what I did. And I'm going to add two cans of cream, cream of chicken soup, chicken gravy, two packs of chicken gravy, and one cup of chicken broth, minced garlic, pepper, salt, and some parsley. And that is everything for this recipe. And like I said before, I'm going to be mixing this in the bag, but you can use a bowl if you want and then just pour it over the chicken. All right, for this recipe, we are going to be making garlic lemon butter chicken. So you are going to need your chicken. Um, I'm going to be using, like I said before, on the other ones. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing for the chicken breast. So totally up to you on how you want to add your chicken. This is just easier for me to just use the frozen um, chicken breasts, I always buy these bags and I use them for multiple things anyways. And then I had chicken tenderloin on hand, so I just added extra to my bags. For this recipe though, you are going to need some onion, you're going to need some garlic, lemon, lemon zest, butter, salt, pepper, paprika, Italian seasoning, and then you can add some crushed red peppers if you would like. You're going to add everything to your bag. And then for the recipe for these, a lot of them are take out the bag, you know, a couple of hours ahead of time, put them in your fridge or, you know, defrost them overnight in the refrigerator. And then they should be ready for you in the morning to add to your crock pot or whenever you want um, your meal to be done. So usually some of these are cooked up within a couple hours anyways. So if you like to just put them in right after lunch, they should be ready for you for supper time. For this recipe, we are going to be making some creamy chicken stew. You're going to need some chicken breasts, so four large boneless chicken breasts, which I doubled a lot of this, um, one onion chopped, four large carrots, and some garlic, four large white potatoes, which the potatoes are going to be used for that day, so you don't need to add them to the bag. Five cups of chicken broth, which you're going to be using that day also. You're not going to need that for this bag. And then some fresh parsley, salt, and pepper, and then some heavy cream the day that you're going to be putting this in your crock pot. So I will leave the recipe for this pack down in the description and in the comments and you guys can get this pack i think she is selling it right now for about ten dollars each freezer pack but i will double check on that and um you guys can get that today so i will leave that all below 
Okay, so I have four chicken thigh recipes that I'm going to share with you. So right now I'm just getting all of my recipes in order to how I have the bags lined up and the name of the recipe on the bags. So that is what I'm going to do right now. I have all my ingredients and stuff that I need off to the side to start adding to the bags. So what I did is I had two big packages of chicken thighs and I just divided it up evenly in between the bags so I made sure that I had enough for each recipe. Okay, so with the chicken thighs, what I ended up doing is just cutting all the extra fat and stuff off that I didn't want on it. So I did that just before I got all my bags and stuff ready. So that is why I'm just gonna add it straight to the bags. All right, for the first recipe for the chicken thighs, we are going to be making orange chicken veggie. You are going to need five to six boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and you're going to need a jar of orange marmalade, one green bell pepper, one yellow onion, soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, and then some frozen stir fry vegetables. The bag that's next to this one, I'm going to be making the cranberry orange chicken. So both of them are pretty similar. That's why I added some of the orange marmalade to the other bag. And then I also added an onion soup mix to that one, minced garlic, pepper, a Catalina salad dressing, and then some ocean spray whole cranberry sauce, which I forgot to add to the bag and I ended up adding it later on when I realized that I forgot to add the cranberry sauce to that. So both of the bags that are close to each other are going to be pretty similar. Um, both of them are going to be orange chicken, but one is gonna be cranberry and the other one is going to be a veggie one. For the last two recipes, we are going to be making cilantro lime chicken and some chicken fajitas. So we are going to do the cilantro and lime chicken first. I'm adding all of the ingredients and that is going to be six to seven boneless chicken thighs, two cups of cilantro, which I didn't have that much, so I just added whatever, one cup of lime juice, lime zest, pepper, salt, and chicken broth. So I'm gonna add everything to the bag and that is it for this recipe. This recipe is pretty small, so if you're gonna wanna maybe like triple it or double it because um, it looks like a small batch. So we will just see and then we will just add some rice to it when we eat it and maybe even some broccoli and stuff. So that is it for that recipe. All right, for the last recipe, we are going to be making the chicken fajitas. We are going to be needing 68 boneless chicken thighs, bell pepper, green bell pepper, a yellow onion, and some olive oil, fajita seasoning, and two teaspoons of pepper. All right, for this recipe, I'm kind of excited to give it a try because I usually would have fried this up in a skillet and I wouldn't have thought to put this in a crock pot. So I'm excited to try this out. I will come back on in another video and I will share how I felt about a lot of these recipes and I also might even share these on some of my other videos I share how they turned out and if my family liked them um, but that was it for all of the recipes okay so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video that was fun for me to do for me to be able to get all of them nails they are in the freezer now so i will let you guys know when i make them how it turned out for the month of september if we ended up using all of them if my kids like them and if i'm going to do it again so that is everything for today's video if you guys have any questions just leave them in the comments down below i also will leave crystal lopez her website down below and you guys can get your own freezer pack meals from her she does run sales if you want to put your email in and then she will email you and you can get a discount on a lot of her freezer meals and different things that she offers all right but that is everything today so hopefully you enjoyed today's video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one